Hello with you guys, my name is Ivan, and today guys, we are back with some more Day Shift at Freddy's 3. Um, so, we're gonna go ahead and continue on with this. Um, so last time we left off, we freed Jacob, which was a trapped soul in on the flip side. Um, and now we have to go back and sadly run our pizzeria without Dave, uh, the good side of him at least. Um, cause he's trapped, um, on the flip side. Um, and, uh, yeah. So we're probably also gonna meet the bad Dave. Uh, eventually we're gonna meet the bad Dave, so. Yeah. Um, but other than that, let's go ahead and continue. Uh, yep, save file three. <coughs> Load. Yes. All right. This is where we are. Oh. Why, hello there. Welcome back to the start your own Freddy Fast and this Pizza Kit. Okay. Oh. Now, it's time to expand, baby. Business is hard. Taxes are late. Don't be a fucking square, man. <laughs> okay. Go order a Freddy's if you own guy from Athen Robotics. What better yet? The black market. Own guys come in all shapes and sizes. They all have phones for it, so, before you ask. Every okay. location has one. Even that one dog or location. All phone guys are made from 100% recycled Sprangwood Freddy's employees. So oh don't worry about animal cruelty. Rest assured, most of these men were probably dead before I got turned into living phone people. Everyone okay. has their answering machine wiped repeatedly, so they won't be able to remember anything about their past lives. Oh. Mostly. Also, if you decide to loot away a murder or any children, Turn off the security cameras first, or at the very least, remember to crudely paste a picture of your janitor over yourself in the CCTV footage, so he gets mad for the crime instead of you. Okay. Remember to smile. You own this fucking place. Okay, well. What, uh... What an intro, what an intro there. Hello, Ivan. I'm a phone guy, model 1401, but you can call me Scott. Thanks for buying me, by the way. That warehouse was getting rather dusty. We're gonna say this first one. The only charge. They only charged you what? I. I thought I was worth more than that. Uh, so basically, I'll do your taxes for you and stuff. Since most delivery companies allow you to order stuff over the phone uh, nowadays, I can use my head to order more sock for us. What kind of stock can you order? Anything we need from cough medicine to sawdust? Okay. So, I had to look over our paperwork. Did you... Did you attempt to burn all of your company's forms? Company forms? No, we're not gonna say that last one, no. Hey. Oh, ay dios mio. 
What's with really huge Freddy employees destroying company documents? I swear, every location I've worked at. What happened in your last location? Some crazy worker dove a, fork a forklift through the wall during a per birthday party. Jeez, man. I tried to send a letter back to Fazbear HQ, but I could before I before I could. He poured a mug of gravy all over the report. Huh? Okay. Since you've made the remaining paperwork scarce, I'll have to run the legal side of your comp of our company. You do know that this is the only Freddy's location open, right? We're the only ones left. It's our responsibility to run the entirety of Faz Fazbender Entertainment, and that includes the legal side of the company. No, we're gonna say this last one. Are you really the only ones left? There's definitely a few more uh, stray phone men out there, aside from you, me, and those stray phone men, though. The others are all long dead. First, first order of business. This place is tiny. How about we expand the place? I have a wad of cash shoved into my phone's receiver for some reason. We can use that to expand the restaurant. That's convenient. It sure is. So, I've just I've just enough money to buy the grow your own hallway in minutes. Add just water kit. Let's give this place a hallway, a bathroom, and an office. Sounds good. Well, you're the boss. Where do you want the hallway to go? Um... Let's do East Bearing. Alright, it should take a second to grow the hallway. Ah, there we go. There we go. Hallway completed. Wow. Isn't technology amazing? I see that you've, you've already salvaged an older robot. By the way... <clears throat> by the way... By the way, is using a 40-year-old Springlock suit really wise? Eh, who cares, right? Any excuse to throw a golden head ward out. Oh no. I want to say this first one. <clears throat> I already have. Oh, I forgot to mention. You'll get uh, bonus customer satisfaction points if one of our robots matches our restaurant's mascot. So, sticking a Freddy head above our sign might be a good idea. All right, that's our most pressing business out of the, out of the way. When you're ready to open up shop, walk outside through the door on your left and open this place up. Feel free to talk to me in any of our rooms before opening up, and we can customize your restaurant to like to your liking, funds permitting. You have the option to randomize your pizzeria right now. This will complete your pizzeria layout randomly, but as a result, you won't be able to choose which rooms you'd like and you'll get a, ro a random selection instead. You will you also will lose out any you will also lose out on any Fred uh freebie dollar bonus to go towards your buying um towards buying new stuff for your restaurant. Choose wisely. Um <clears throat> Well, this is recommended for new players, so why don't we do that? Wise choice. Oh, so we just move now? Okay. Hey, okay. Jeez. Maybe you should check the light bulb in the women's restroom. Looks kind of dark.
Can we like use the restroom or something? No. Hang on. Wait. Let's talk to phone guy over here. What do you need, Ivan? Hmm. What do we need? Oh, light bulb. Can we do like a light bulb? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do this one. Well, right now, we have separate bathrooms for boys and girls. If you want, we can convert the boys' bathroom into a unisex restroom and convert the girls' restroom into a disabled restroom. Yeah, we can do that. Unisex bathrooms are all the rage, are all the rage these days. I'd totally boost customer satisfaction since I'd make our restaurant seem more aggressive, uh, more progressive and hip with the times. Also, we'd be the first uh, Freddy's location to actually facilitate disabled people. Okay. But having almost all of our customer base in the in one toilet will cause crowding, which will lower customer safety. Oh no, we're not gonna take the risk. Let's leave it all as is. Sure thing. Okay, um, well, let's go next here. Before you get started in the office, I have some advice. What's that? We should hire a night guard, someone to watch the place at night. Why, studies show that having a night, night guard working at your Freddy's location reduces the rate of employee danger and the rate of employer liability. Hiring a night guard is worth our while, I think. Uh, let's hire one. Wise choice. Alright, I'll list your options. You have Sarah Butchenin. She has three years of experience as a night guard at a local co coffee place. Pretty uh, decent worker. You also have Bert Weintraub. Got arrested in 1993 for trying to assault Freddy Fazbear. Might sound promising. No, we're not gonna... No, we're not gonna hire him. We also have Derek White claims to like animatronics. That's all we have on him. Okay. So. So? Okay, we're gonna go with Sarah. Yeah. Alright, consider her hired immediately, if not sooner. Alright. Because she has three years of experience, so we can do that. Um, I think that's all for now, honestly. I don't know that we can do anything else. Um, can we talk about anything else? Let's get him. Can we get a vent? Let's get a vending machine. Should we should we be really selling cheap shack snack foods in an establishment that's designed to sell pizza cu to customers? Why not? They have pizza. Why not give them like a side snack or something? Like, come on, right? Yeah. I mean, okay. There we go! There we are! Alright, so we got a little vending machine, and I think that's honestly it that we can do here, so... That's it for our restaurant. Um, can we leave? Are you ready to leave Tycoon and open up shop? Um... We need to get tables. Table, tables set us back about two fifty dollars. Um, let's do it. Excellent. Can do. There we go. All right. Now, what else can we get, though? What do you need? Okay. Um, let's do some wall decorations, then we should, then we'll probably call it that. 
We have enough room in, in the dining area for two decorations. So where's the dining hall then? Mm, okay. <coughs> Can we do the wall decorations again? Um I think that'll be good. Maybe we'll put stages. At the moment we have no stage in the room. The cheapest stage going is a hundred dollars. That's alright. Why not? Good investment! Alright, and we have a stage. Alright, and I think that's where we're gonna call it. You, you can't really do much else. Yeah. One month later. Oh. Okay. All right, so we arrive back. There we go. Well, here we are. We're back at your very own Freddy Fazbender's Pizza Joint. It's the last day of this month, so you'd better check up on how uh, phony's going on. All right. What music would you like to play in your restaurant? Let's do default. There we go. Hello, hello, hello! Hey, boss! Welcome back to the new and exclusive Freddy Fazbender's Pizza. It's exclusive because the others are all on fire, have gone moldy, or have been converted into a Walmart. Some of my eye. Hey, I'll have you know, I've done a good job in keeping this place STD free. Giant mysterious scutter, uh, scuttler free. On the other hand, I don't know what it is about Freddy's locations that attracts those things. To be a, to be frank. Perhaps it's the dampest in our unique array of molds and fungi. Okay, so I'll just give you a quick rundown on how exactly the place is, is doing. Long story short, we're broke. Yeah, we're out of money. How? Sir, with all due respect, this place isn't making a profit, and your poor design choices are the main reason why. Oh, should we have kept going? Yes, sir. Your design, your design choices. The place is no actual functioning robots. I mean. You brought back the hideous Spring Freddy suit, but it reeks. And since you're you have you haven't hired anyone to wear the bear suit, I've had to wear the suit at birthday parties. Do you realize how hard it is to fit a phone head inside a mascot costume? I know what a Springwalk failure feels like, Ivan. No more.
We are out of money. I'll try to s scrape some dough together so we don't lose the restaurant. We've got to be careful. Do you think you could help out today? Maybe lend a hand since you're here? Sure. Great. Great. That's actually quite reassuring. I'll go rev up the, the ovens. You? You do whatever you want to do. Time for bear. I already do. You do you, Ivan. C catch you later, sir. Alright. Well, not very promising. Alright, let's search the dining area. We scrounged around, yet only a, a Medicor dining area was found. Interesting. Um, search the dining area to 6 uh, p.m. You found $427. Yay. Okay, well, that's good. All right, well, it's 6 p.m. All right. Well, 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 6 p.m. So, let's have it. <laughs> How much dough you made for your customers today, of course. You... Wait. You did stick around today to help raise money for the restaurant. So, how much have you made? You made $727? Good lord. Why am I surprised? You're clearly a pro at this. Thank you, phone man. And that's all you need to be to succeed. Bottom feeders always win. That's programmed into the AI of every phone guy. Combined with our $727, we now have $977. Okay, here, sir. Here's what we made today, minus company deductions. Well, that's it for tonight. I'll see you on the flip side, sir. Okay, here we go. Today was an alright first day. You helped your employee work the day shift and earned a considerable amount of money for your efforts. Today brought you, brought you right back to your glory days. To those late afternoons bent over in a sweaty bear suit. To your time with Dave. Putting nostalgia aside, today wasn't as large of a failure as it could have been. Phone guy leaves the restaurant and you decide that it's time to lock up. You leave through the window and say goodnight to Freddy's. Tomorrow is another day. Alright. Looking good so far. Looking good. Nothing too horrible yet. Alright. Here we go. Move into another location. All right. Oh. Okay. Um. What's? Oh, are we back in another pizzeria? Okay. Finally, you've returned. Who's talking? 
There's no company tapes left to guide you through your remaining uh, duties and responsibilities. You're, co you're completely alone here. At least, you hope you are. Eh, uh, it's time to get searching. Those robots aren't going to salvage themselves. What would you like to do? Okay, let's search to the north. Why does the music feel sad for some reason? Oh, oh, where we at? Um, inspect the stage area. Stage area has been uh, sorely uh, tainted by time. A thick layer of grime covers anything that was once bright and pristine. Wow. Several pieces of Bonnie are scattered on the stage. Finally, an incarnation of Bonnie. The Bonnie with a face. And yet, no torso. Tragic. Freddy seems to be relatively intact. Missing limbs aside. Uh, we're gonna leave him. I want a, f I want a full grown... I want a full animatronic. That's nice. Let's leave him be. Let's search to the south. Two hallways branch off together. Choose a hallway. Uh, west. Okay. Into the security office. Let's see. Oh, are we in the FNAF 1 location? I think we're in the FNAF 1 location. Yeah, we are. What would you like to do? Okay. Um, let's search the security office. Let's see what we find. We find a familiar security camera panel now permanently deactivated from years of neglect in it and an array of posters of drawings, some of which you clearly recognize as being from locations you've previously worked at before. Aside from its rust and relative aging, the office is 100% intact. Everything is exactly where you left it last back when you worked the graveyard shift here. Evidently, this building closed down not long after you left. What would you like to do? Um, let's leave the door to the, on the right. the corridor okay whoa we got a foxy here let's see Expect Foxy the pirate. Seems to be broken down for once. You'd swear that he was left relatively untouched by, t by time if it wasn't for the fact that he's clearly missing a leg. Um, let's leave him be since he's missing a leg. I don't, I don't want him. Search to the east. We want a good animatronic. If you can't find anything else that's like fully, fully, um, if you can't find anything else that's like fully, that has all the parts and it's not really broken, it's just shut down, um, then we're just gonna have to go with the animatronic that's missing only one part, uh, which will probably be Foxy. Um, let's do the east now. See what we find there. What do we find? Enter the restroom. Let's see if there's animatronic in here. Oh. Let's 
respect Chica. Good lord, how repulsive. You couldn't possibly want this moldy, moldy a chicken inside your restaurant. Uh, let's leave her be because it looks like she's missing like an arm and a leg. So let's leave her be Okay, so we'll get foxy we'll get foxy Because I do like Foxy. So we can go ahead and get him. We'll get Foxy. Go back to the west. We'll get we'll get Foxy. We'll salvage Foxy. So it looks like all he's missing is a leg, so we'll salvage him. Yes. That's okay. Free to leave through the dining area, or you can explore this location some more. What would you like to do? Let's leave. Let's go ahead and leave with Foxy. Time to go. I have what I came for. Very well. What's done is done. You say goodbye to the Freddy's Hurricane location for the last time and leave and leave for the door. Since this place is windowless for whatever reason. Alright, and then we leave. Wait. This door is locked. That's impossible. This is the same door you used to get inside. Oh. Oh no. Oh my. It's. Oh no. Oh no. It's the. Ba it's the. It's the bad one. It's the bad Dave, the bad part of him. That's that that Dave. Uh, that Dave on the flip side said was walking around, uh, killing, uh, killing people in the, um, in the real in the real world. This is him. Oh no, what is it, Dave Trap? Dave? I've seen better days, Sporty. Yeah, definitely. Come on closer, old sport. It's been so long, and my eyes haven't been so hot. Days past few their veins. Kaiser Maggots fucking love human eyeballs. Who would have known? They seem to be crazy about me in general. I'll agree. Yeah, I'll see this, Dave. How long have you been here? An awful long time.
This isn't right. You're suffering. Yep. You and all people should know that. Yep. I waited for so long to see you again. I waited for over thirty years. But you're not right. You're not right. You're not. You've been the one killing the kids. Dave on, Dave on the flip side, the good part of you, hates you. He can see what you're doing in the real world here. I don't trust you. I trust the good part of you. I don't trust this you. Well, I mean, it's kind of creepy though, Dave. Oh, Balloon Boy. He was uh, messing with you, Dave. I guess. Yeah, but we didn't come here to see you, Dave Trap. We. We came here to just salvage something. Always come back. <sighs> you always come back. Not me. I didn't want to come back and see you freaking... No, because we didn't want to see you. You're the bad version. You're the bad version of Dave. Eventually, the place caught on fire for no fucking reason and burned down. You start you started it though, didn't you? You're the one who started the fire, Springtrap. Right? They sold pieces of whaling option, but couldn't find a home for me. Yeah, because they were horrified of you. They didn't like you. You expect me to feel bad about that? No, I'm glad. I thought would have busted me out by now. Never! Never! You're the bad version! Of course you wouldn't. He must have finally hit the bucket for good. But then, what do I read in the paper? Uh oh. The new Freddy's fast end is now open full business. Uh oh. Um Dave Trap has been uh he's been following up. He's been catching up on things. Uh oh. It has to be you. You gotta come back and talk in you. No, that's not what we were trying to do though.
Not with you. Uh uh. Yeah, I, I, I can't. Oh no, yep, so, uh. I, oh no is he gonna is he gonna force us to murder to murder kids and just people in general I think we're gonna choose a side here guys I think we're gonna choose a side here I think we either leave him um, here and um, stay on the light side or we join him and go to the dark side the, the bad side uh, join him and help him kill let's see oh no guys Ooh. So, this is, I think, where you get two different endings. So, we either salvage Dave, or we stay on the light side and say, you've become a monster, Dave. Well... <sighs> oh my goodness. Um, I think if we salvage Dave, we get the bad ending. But, if you do the one under it, we get, um, the good ending. Um, I don't, I honestly don't. I don't know, he just seems like the Dave that I... <sighs> Frick it, dude. Should we salvage Dave? No. I want to go on the good side. We're going to do this final one. Sorry, Dave, but I can't do it. I have to look at you. I'm still a person. I just look different now. Before. Well, you don't even look like a person anymore, Dave. You're freaking animatronic slash. You're. You're a. You're an animatronic slash human. don't know now he genuinely seems like he wants he just right now he seems so innocent um you know what let's do the first one let's salvage Dave like what the hell let's do it let's do it let's do it let's do it I guess you could say that. He generally does seem nice, though. Okay. Just you see, it'll be just like I never done. Okay. Well, did we make the right decision? 
I don't know. Well, now that we salvaged him, we're probably going to go on the bad side now and help him kill kids. Which means we're probably going to have to say some bad things then to people. Oh, there he is. You have to try to set things right again. Goodyear Workshop. Alright. So now we're going back to the good Dave, right? The good, the good version of Dave. The good part of him most reasonable part you know what you have to do you have to go inside there we go and I think that's where we're gonna pause it for this video Yes, we did. Yes, we did. We just met your bad part, Dave. We just met. We just met the bad side of you. I was wondering, Lee Van. Yeah, and it's fantastic to see you again. It's good to see you two again, Dave. Likewise, Dave. So it's been a month. Do you recall what I asked you to do for me? Oh, don't worry, Sportsy. I didn't forget. Okay. I found us a real good lead. A spectral lead, if you will. Okay. What is it? Oh. Yes, I ended up remembering something quite interesting. Okay. You remember that horrifying fucking puppet that Freddy Fazbear is kept in that damn music box, right? Yeah. I I mean Yeah, of course I do. Why? Well, that puppet used to visit him a lot. Searching full lost souls in his places of band and Oh, I see. Okay. Good job, Dave. It came from another deeper part of the flip side. Okay. Wait, there's more of this place? You didn't think that this was it, did you? This place only covers like three old Freddy's locations. The flip side, much like the surface of the earth, where an onion is layered, the deeper you go. Well, mm. I tend to stay as close to reality as I can for a reason. Okay. It's been so long since I've seen that puppet, what I should be on this part of the flip side. Okay. I see. Is there a way we could get there? Shiny, just step into the portal. What portal? Oh. And one, of course, old sport. Okay. I hate this effing place so goddamned much. To find that puppet face basket, this is the only way. Okay. The only way, old sport. All right. Well then, all right then. Let's do this. Ladies 
Ladies first. Sports. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and save. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and end this one right here, guys. So next video, we're gonna walk through that portal and we're gonna uh, go deeper into the flip side. Um, and uh, yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys all please, please, please hit that like button if you guys enjoyed, just simple as that. And hit that post notification bell so that way you guys will get notified whenever I upload any of my videos. And also don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys all in the next video. And of course, in the next live stream when I do one. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye, guys.